Hey, awesome. Welcome to our uh, brown bag talk, finding the balance between open source and proprietary work. Uh, quick introductions, I'm Douglas Mendezabal, formerly with Rackspace, uh, looking for new opportunities now. So I'm Fernando, I'm currently at IBM and I've been working uh, with the Barbican project for about two years. So um, yeah. And I'm Dave McCowan, I work for Cisco Systems and I've been working on OpenStack since the Juno release, uh, working on the Barbican project and the security project. And um, as a developer in the OpenStack community, uh, we all face certain challenges balancing the efforts that we do for our company in particular and efforts that we do for the uh, community at large. <clears throat> um, some of the challenges uh, that bring about this conflict is uh, tight deadlines on uh, company product work. When there's a, there's a release coming out for your production system, uh, that always seems to take priority over community work uh, or community work wanes. Um, there's always an inherent conflict, even if you're working on OpenStack daily uh, for your company products, um, it's going to be on a stable version. Uh, a lot of companies might still be on, on Liberty or Kilo or, or Newton, and any work you're doing upstream, first you have to commit to, uh, to slash master. So there's always uh, a, a platform difference there. Um, another challenge is that uh, you'll make commitments that last a whole cycle or longer than a cycle for the community, but then your job or mission might, uh, might change in your company, and it's tough to uh, keep continuity in, uh, in the community as your job changes on a day-to-day -day basis. And, uh, and finally, there are competing priorities. Uh, at the end of the day, your company is looking for profit, and the community is looking uh, for sharing uh, exciting work. And so balancing uh, those priorities is something that we have to work with day-to-day. So there's also things that you can't contribute. So uh, for example, intellectual property. So there's a lot of company IP that, you know, the company's not gonna be happy with you contributing. So um, you have to make sure you get approval from your manager. There are ways and there are processes within the company of uh, pushing to open source patentable processes and company IP, but that's more of a law and a management uh, role. So you would have to talk to your manager about that. And then of course, you can't really contribute if it's something that competes against um, a current product that you're offering. So, so that's uh, something to know. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about our experiences. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so when I uh, first started working on OpenStack, um, I set up this firewall, a division between my community work and my company work, and it was exciting just working in the community because I felt like I was not hamstrung by one-on-ones with my manager, by uh, daily stand-ups, by status reports. It was really great. I, I just separated the two. And, but what I found over time by doing that, whenever I was doing community work, I felt like I was stealing time from the company and I sort of felt isolated from my company as I did community contributions. Uh, so what I decided to do was to tear down that wall and I communicated um, just like my day job, uh, my community work, uh, one-on-ones with my manager. I told them my goals for the cycle. And then at the end of the cycle, I told them you know, if I achieved them or not. Um, I, I talked with my marketing team and my sales team about my community contributions and successes there. And they were excited and, and shared those results with our customers. And so I found that, um, and giving status to my project manager. He was excited to add that to his slides and, and to communicate that uh, across the organization. So by tearing down that wall and, and making my community work part of my day-to-day, -day, uh, I was able to get uh, cheerleaders and stakeholders within my company that then supported me for, uh, uh, for all my community work. So uh, I'm gonna agree with uh, Dave. I had a somewhat of a similar experience where, so I started with full-time uh, upstream development for about a year, so I was just mainly involved in contributing to uh, key management at Barbican. So then what happened is I strategically chose a team which does use Barbican in the back end. So then even though I was working mainly on proprietary work, I can still contribute in a meaningful way to the company's products. So, so that way, since I can contribute features that not only help the community, but help my company as a whole. So I found that one, if you're doing contributions that way and you're talking to you know, your manager about you know, how this is gonna help the product and making sure that you're making an impact on the actual product, it's gonna help you out at work with, with getting some, uh, time to contribute. So that's one thing that I've learned through, throughout my experiences.
And one thing I wanted to talk about is um, encouraging, if you're a manager, encouraging your employees to take leadership roles. Um, I was lucky to be working at a company that valued upstream contributions very much. Uh, and they really encouraged me to, to put my name in, to be a PTL, uh, which at the time I was very sort of uh, reluctant to do it, didn't think I could do it, but I had a really good manager that really encouraged me and I, I found it to be a really rewarding um, experience. I uh, experienced a lot of personal and professional growth uh, because of it and very thankful to my manager for encouraging me to, to get involved upstream. Um, so, yeah. Uh, some helpful tips if you're going to join the community. Uh, be sure to set up an IRC bouncer so that you're always logged into IRC. Uh, and, and don't miss questions or uh, people saying hi and things like that. Um, if you're at work and you've got some other priorities, it's tough to be logged on to IRC all the time. But being able to find some downtime to catch up with a IRC backlog is always good. Um, always try to contribute uh, at least a little bit. Uh, try to make it a goal to submit a patch for a bug or or something small every month. Um, that's helped some of us. Um, always try to attend a meeting uh, regularly. One thing I did for that is uh, set up a block of time in my company calendar for the monthly meeting to make sure that people didn't schedule me to, to go to other uh, downstream meetings while that uh, weekly meeting was going on. Uh, if, you, if that's not possible, then there's always an IRC log at eavesdrop.openstack.org where you can catch up um, with what happened uh, that week in your project or projects if you're interested in many of them. Um, and always try to build a relationship with active developers. You know, just saying hi on IRC um, every day goes a long way to, to being recognized by core teams uh, and, and start building those relationships. Yeah, so um, we'd like to end with that and uh, see if the audience has any questions. Okay. No questions. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you for attending.